Hi everybody and welcome back to Loudon Vivid Beauty. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be testing out the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. So funny story, um... I was at the store the other day, I'd seen it, I was like, oh yeah, that looks like a, it looks like my color, and I picked it up. Your girl didn't read it, she didn't read it, she just picked it up going, oh yeah, yeah, this looks about right. Got home, and then, and then I read it, and then I realized, I was like, what the shit is a tinted serum? Like, what the hell? So, um, I had to go on YouTube, and I watched a few videos, and it looks, it looks pretty good, and I think this would be really good for... Um, on days you don't want to wear like a heavy heavy foundation or you just want something light or you you really just want skin it's like a skin like tint um so this actually has a lot of claims in it um so with the one percent hyaluronic acid it's supposed to give you like a hydrated look uh your skin is supposed to be smooth over time i guess with use uh it's supposed to brighten up your face um she is not a full coverage girl if you are looking for full coverage medium coverage this is not your girl. This is just for where you want skin to look like skin. So um, I'm kind of interested to see how this works out. So I did get the shade 4-5. Um, the shade range is pretty interesting. It starts from like light 2-3 and it goes all the way down to very deep. Uh, I think it was 10-12. Um, so it, that was kind of interesting. Um, I actually didn't mind it only because I feel like sometimes when you have like a hundred different numbers like 103w 103 blah 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 you know it it's overwhelming so i kind of like how it's like okay it's four or five medium and it's like okay yeah that kind of looks like my color this has got more of a yellow undertone and then the one before it had more of uh like a pink undertone and i know i'm more yellow than i am pink so this made it less overwhelming the numbering system so i did i do like that um, so let me go ahead and open her up for you so you can check her out. She is a dropper. Ooh, she's thick too, girl. She is thick. I don't know. I don't know if I like that necessarily. There's a lot of product on the dropper itself. I don't, I don't like that. I feel like they could have just put it in a normal bottle. Um, a normal a normal pump bottle they could have done. I feel like that probably would have been a better way to go. All right, so I'm going to get on the Ulta website and read your directions because let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. So it says, shake well before using, apply a few drops directly to your face, and then use your fingers to start blending. It can be worn alone or layered with other makeup products. I don't know how I feel about the using your fingers to blend. I mean, we're not in the 90s anymore. But I guess I kind of understand too, because the like these sponges would probably just soak everything up. Um, okay, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it with the fingers. So get a few drops here. Oh, that's weird. Where did this piece of glitter come from? I have glitter everywhere, girl. That was probably too much, but it's okay. We're just gonna spread it. Oh my god, I do not like using my fingers. Um, she feels really good. She feels smooth. Like, it's not a heavy product. Even though it did look like I put a crap ton on. It's just... It feels different. It feels really nice. Look at that glow, girl. I'm not freaking mad at this. I don't like this dropper. I don't like this dropper at all. Oh my god, I just spilled it all. Let's put a little bit up here. Um, so I do suffer from psoriasis. So I do have um, dry patches on my face sometimes, especially like in this specific area of my hairline. So I want to see if it'll pick it up. Cause that that bugs the crap out of me is when you you can wear foundation and then it like picks up all that texture yeah see it kind of let me zoom you in real quick 
You see right here that texture? It's not terrible, but it's not the greatest either. It's okay. I don't mind that. It could be worse. Um, worst. It could be worse because sometimes the thicker foundations just look terrible. Let me add a few more drops here. So I only did one side of my face so you can kind of see the difference. Okay. I, wow. Okay. Look at how, look at that glow. Wow. Look at that. Cause this, this ain't, this is bullshit. Look at this though. This looks amazing. Okay. And she matched really, really well with my own skin. So that's even better. Um, let me turn down the lights real quick because sometimes lighting makes a big difference. I do have to keep one light on, otherwise we'd be both sitting in the dark girl and that ain't gonna do nothing for nobody. All right, here we go. We're gonna turn on this ring light. Um, we'll turn it down that low. Yeah, look at that. Just like skin. Wow, looks really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. So that was just one layer on this side. Okay, wait, girl. I'm fixing to blind me. There we go. That was just... I don't know what's going on with my camera. <laughs> okay. You're just going to be zoomed in for a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, so that was just one layer on this side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now, and we'll even her out. She looks really, really good. Like, I'm, I'm extremely impressed. Um, and what I do like about it is that it doesn't feel heavy. You know, like, when you put, like, I wear Maybelline, the full coverage one, and it's, it's heavy. This is not heavy at all. It's extremely lightweight. So, I think what I'm going to do is I want to try to put another layer on and see how that works. Here is the second layer on my face. Did it do anything? No, it didn't really do a whole lot. Um, I just want to test it out and see if it was buildable. Um, I guess you cannot do buildable with tinted serums. I'm not really sure. If you do know, let me know. So uh, we're going to do the rest of my makeup and then we will do a wear test throughout the day to see how it lasts. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put a little bit of concealer, a little bit of translucent powder underneath my eyes. I realized the camera stopped working. So here we are. I'm using the City Bronze uh, bronzer. I really do like it, and I like it a lot because it's not glittery. You know how like sometimes bronzers have glitter and shimmer in it? That drives me nuts. So there's a cheek uh, color I really want to use, and it's in this Morphe 2 palette. If you haven't seen these, this is a really cool stackable palette. I think I'm going to go and get the rest of them. It makes it easier, but I really originally only bought this for this eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is bomb. But it's got eyeshadow, it's got your cheek color, which is, that's the one I want to use today. It's got a lip color, and then if you want to be extra, extra special, it's got some glitter. This is actually really pretty, too. They did a really good job with this. So I'm just going to dive into the pink, I think it's called Orchid. Just take a little bit. Kind of rosy up these cheeks a little bit. Nothing too, too fancy schmancy. I think I'm gonna go get the rest of these little stackable palettes. These are really, really cool. And they work really, really good. Like the color payoff for the eyeshadow and stuff is really amazing. And the lips, like this lip color is bomb. All right, so just got a little bit of that on. Okay, so it is time for a check-in and the last one. So it is currently 7.30 at night and here is my face. I've currently had this on for a little over nine hours now. And this is where we're at. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can kind of see. She's still holding up pretty good, minus this area right here, kind of like in the T-zone. Um, I did not put translucent powder here, so that's kind of to be expected. She's a little oily, but I also had a mask on, so I don't know if that really had anything to do with it. But um, she looks, she looks pretty good. Um... I think the next time I wear it, I'm going to put translucent powder there just to see how long it actually lasts and if it really does make a difference. But um, this is really good for like 
a no makeup makeup look or if you just want something kind of like lightweight coverage just a slap on your face and get rid of some of the redness this is definitely some good stuff i really do like it um the only thing i do not like about it is the dropper it makes too much of a mess and i think they could have just put this in a in like in a pump Yep, so that is it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next.